Hi guys, welcome to the first to fourth episodes recap of the K-drama Twinkling Watermelon. With a plot spoiler alert, let's get to it. As the drama begins, we are introduced to Ha Yun Gol, who is the youngest in a family of four. His parents, Ha Yi Chun and Yun Cheng Ah, and his brother, Ha Yun Ho, are hearing impaired, so he translates for them and for others who try to make conversation with them. Yun Gol is also a very bright student. Their family runs a chicken restaurant and lives in a container, but lives happily. Later they manage to move into a basement apartment. On seeing all the awards Yun Gol has won, the landlady who lives in the same building, makes her son Bung Ho be friends with Yun Gol. While hanging out with Bung Ho and his friends, they cycle past a musical instrument store named Viva Music, and Bung Ho warns him to avoid going into the store. Bung Ho begins to bully Yun Gol and forces him to take exams for him. On his way back home, he hears a song playing at the Viva store and starts crying. The owner of the store, known by the name Viva Grandpa, notices him crying. He calls Yun Gol in, thinking that he is crying because of the bullies. But he gets surprised on hearing that Yun Gol is crying because he got emotional listening to the song. As they talk, Viva Grandpa offers to teach him how to play the guitar. So Viva Grandpa continues to teach him to play the guitar, but Yun Gol keeps it a secret from his family, because he feels bad for them not being able to hear or play the guitar. On seeing him improve, Viva Grandpa tells him too to come up with a guitar riff or a song, promising to gift a guitar if he comes up with a good riff. So Yun Gol continues to work hard on the assignment. He also manages to stand up against Bung Ho and his friends, refusing to take exams for him. So Bung Ho goes back to getting poor grades. Yun Gol sees him standing in the cold as his mother has punished him for his grades. So Yun Gol offers him a hoodie and walks away as Bung Ho screams for giving him the hoodie. Yun Gol's parents head off to the restaurant, leaving Yun Gol in charge of taking care of Yun Ho, who is suffering from a fever. Upon seeing his brother sleeping, Yun Gol sneaks out of the house to show Viva Grandpa the riff he has been practicing to win the guitar. Meanwhile, an angry Bung Ho arrives at the apartment with the hoodie Yun Gol gave him and throws it through the window. Accidentally, he also throws an lit cigarette butt into the apartment, and it starts a fire. Yun Gol unaware of it, tries to reach Viva Grandpa, but he has collapsed. When he returns home, he finds their apartment on fire, and his parents desperately trying to find him. His father has gone into the fire in search of him. Yi Chun gets injured during the search but manages to escape from the fire. The landlady realizes that her son is the one who caused the fire. But she puts the blame on Yun Gol's parents and chases them out of the apartment. Before leaving, Yun Gol hurries off to meet Viva Grandpa, but discovers that he has passed away. Six years after the incident, the Viva store is demolished, and a house is built in its place. Yi Chun has managed to recover and becomes a restaurant owner with a good house for them to live in. Yun Ho, with Yun Gol's help, is training in Taekwondo, and is about to join the Taekwondo national team. Yun Gol is now a very bright high school student, and his father has high hopes for him as he is good in studies. But Yun Gol still loves to play the guitar, so he studies during the day, and performs as a guitarist wearing a mask at night. Yun Gol catches the attention of a group named Spy 9, and they offer him the position of guitarist in the band. At first he refuses, but eventually agrees under the condition, that he will never take off the mask for personal reasons, prioritizing studies over music, and placing his family as his topmost priority. Despite these conditions, the band members accept him, and they begin performing together in clubs. The band gets recognized by Oh Ma Ju, the manager of the famous singer Yoon Dong Jin, especially because of Yoon Gol, and they receive an offer to join Dong Jin on his world tour. Ma Ju decides to personally see their performance before finalizing the arrangement. While they celebrate the news, Yoon Gol receives a call from Yi Chun to come to the police station. When he gets there, Yoon Gol finds that Yi Chun has been involved in an accident, and their former landlady is also present. The landlady insists that she is the one responsible for the accident, while Yi Chun demands that the driver was a man, and was her son Bung Ho. As they leave the police station Yi Chun confronts her, blaming her for Bung Ho's behavior, and reminding her of the fire that occurred six years ago, which was caused by her son, but she did nothing to correct him, and instead blamed on them. Yoon Gol is devastated to learn that his father is still affected by the past incident, as he has thought that his family had moved on. The next day he decides to step out of the band. Bae Su Tuck, who is one of the members gets angry at him as they are about to go on a tour. Yoon Gol explains that he nearly got his family killed because he got distracted by music, and doesn't want that to happen again. Koo Jong Hong, another member of the band, follows Yoon Gol as he leaves and tells him that they will go on the tour even without him, but will wait for him. When Yoon Gol returns to the study room, he finds Chung Ah waiting for him. Yoon Gol learns that Chung Ah has learned about his grades have dropped significantly. She reminds him that he is Yi Chun's pride and should study hard to regain his usual grades. Frustrated Yoon Gol cycles to the place where the Viva store used to be, and discovers a new house built there. A woman walks out of the house and assumes that Yoon Gol is there to see her daughter because he has a crush on her. But Yoon Gol explains to her about the Viva instrument store that used to be there, and that he was close with the owner, and that is why he stopped by. To his surprise, the woman recognizes him as Yoon Gol and invites him into the house, saying that she has something to give him. 
She introduces herself as Choi Se Kung, the daughter of Viva Grandpa. Se Kung hands him the guitar that Viva Grandpa wanted to give to Yoon Gol, and that Yoon Gol is the best guitarist he had ever met. He also sees photos of younger Se Kung, and that she used to play the cello. Motivated by Viva Grandpa's remarks, Yoon Gol then returned to Spy 9. Later, Yi Cha manages to track a vehicle at the site of the accident, and asks Yoon Gol to accompany him as a translator to obtain the dashcam footage. Yoon Gol struggles to come up with an excuse because the same day that Ma Ju has arranged to see them performing. To Yoon Gol's surprise Yoon Ho steps in and tells them that he wants to take Yoon Gol with him to meet his coach. Yoon Gol confronts his brother about it, and Yoon Ho confesses that he knows Yoon Gol is in a band, because he's seen social media posts of Yoon Gol playing with the group. When Yoon Gol arrives at the club, he discovers that Jong Hong is seriously ill. Yoon Gol gets spotted by Bung Ho's mother as he gets medicine for Jong Hong. She follows him and sees him with the band members, and on seeing Yoon Gol holding Jong Hong's cigarette as he takes the medicine. So Bung Ho's mother assumes that they're taking drugs. She receives a call from the police station about the dashcam footage and hurries there. At the police station they inquire about Bung Ho's whereabouts. As they leave the police station, Bung Ho's mother lashes out, accusing Yoon Gol of going to clubs and doing drugs behind his back. Shocked by it, Yi Chen rushes to the club to find Yoon Gol. On the other hand, Yoon Gol takes on the role of the lead singer as Jong Hong's condition doesn't improve. Since Ma Ju is also present, Yoon Gol performs without the mask. Yi Chen arrives at the club and is shocked to see Yoon Gol performing. After the performance, Yi Chen confronts Yoon Gol, who admits that he loves doing music. Yi Chen lashes out at him for lying, and Yoon Gol, frustrated, storms out, expressing his exhaustion from living for Yi Chen's dream. Yoon Gol runs off and finds himself in a desolate place. He attempts to smash the guitar that Viva Grandpa gifted to him, but sees two moons in the sky. Suddenly, he notices a mysterious instrument store named La Vida Music, that looks exactly like the Viva Musical store. He enters the store, where the owner introduces himself as the master. Yoon Gol decides to sell his guitar. The master gives him a transaction slip, advising him to return if he changes his mind, and warning him not to lose the slip. Upon leaving the store, Yoon Gol walks into broad daylight, and a man bumps into him, dropping a newspaper. When he tries to return the newspaper, he notices that the date is 1995, and the music instrument store has transformed into a bookstore. Two high school students rush to him, thinking that he is Dong Jin, and introduce themselves as Ha Yi Chun and Oh Ma Ju, and that they are from the music band First Love Memory Manipulators. Yoon Gol recognizes Yi Chun as his father's 18-year-old self, and is surprised to see him talking. It is revealed that Yi Chun has a lively and outgoing personality, and lives with his grandmother Go Young Hee. He is best friends with Oh Ma Ju. Yi Chun comes across the younger self of Se Kung while working part time in an ice cream store, and develops a crush on her. Se Kung is famous for her beauty, and many have a crush on her. Apparently Se Kung has been adopted by a wealthy family after their daughter died in an accident. Upon learning that their late daughter was learning to play the cello, Se Kung decides to learn the instrument as well to impress her adoptive mother, Shin A Young. Eventually she becomes an excellent cellist. She is already paired up with Ji Huan, who is a medical student and a member of a music band. But Yi Chan refuses to give up on Se Kung, and decides to make a band to impress Se Kung, as he is nothing compared to her. Cheng Ah also goes to the same school as Se Kung, and her stepmother is the school director. Unlike her present personality, Cheng Ah has a cold manner, distancing herself from others due to her hearing impairment and constant bullying. But she is very talented in art. Cheng Ah and Se Kung eventually become friends as well. Yi Chan on the other hand waits among the boys, hoping to meet Se Kung as she leaves school. He approaches her and invites her to a school festival, saying he has put up a band just for her, and will be performing a song exclusively for her. Because Yi Chan is persistent Se Kung agrees, only if he do a solo performance and play a song of Se Kung's choice. To her surprise Yi Chan accepts the challenge. Cheng observes this interaction from afar. Yi Chan then recruits members for the band, appointing Ma Ju as the manager. Upon learning about Yun Dong Jin being a talented musician, Yi Chan and Ma Ju invite him to join their band, offering a free three-night stay at Snail Boarding House, owned by Yi Chun's grandmother Young Hee. So Yi Chan gets Young Hee approval by saying Dong Jin is a tutor, and will be helping him with his studies. To make Dong Jin recognizable, he tells Yi Chun that he will be standing in front of a bookstore, holding a newspaper. Dong Jin, while waiting for Yi Chun, suddenly needs to use the toilet and hurries off, accidentally bumping into Yun Gol on the way. Because Yoon Gol is the one holding the newspaper, Yi Chun and Ma Ju mistakenly think that he is Dong Jin. Yoon Gol confirms that Yi Chun is indeed his father. Shocked by Yoon Gol, Yi Chun and Ma Ju to run off as Yoon Gol follows after them, calling him dad. Eventually catching up with them, he informs them that he is Dong Jin, providing various facts about Dong Jin he found online to confirm his identity. So Yoon Gol gets recruited into the group by Yi Chun and Ma Ju, and they take him to meet the rest of the band. The rest of the members recognize him as not being Dong Jin and beat them up before leaving. He returns to the bookstore, hoping to find Master, and asks the shop owner about the musical store, which he doesn't seem to know. 
He also tries calling the number on the transaction bill, and even the money he got from Master is useless, because they are out of date. Yun Gol attempts to find Chung Ah, but remembers that she never had photos of her younger self, and was almost an orphan. While spending the night with the homeless, Yun Gol hears a phone ringing and picks it up. The call is from Master, and he tells him that he should figure out why he ended up there, and the way to return to the present time. He hangs up the call, saying he'd contact him again. The next day, Yi Chun and Ma Ju are horrified to find that Dong Jin has posted a comment on the forum, claiming that Yi Chun is a fraud, and warns everyone against him. With Dong Jin recruited into a different group, Yi Chun heads off to find another member. Yun Gol approaches him and asks to join the band instead. While trying to escape from Yun Gol, Yi Chun disguises himself as one of Sei Kung's school students and walks into the school. Because Yun Gol is not wearing the school uniform, he gets stopped at the gate. While in the school, Yi Chun gets recognized by the PE teacher, and he starts chasing after him. To hide from him, Yi Chun goes into a supply room and finds Chung Ah inside, who has been locked in the room after being bullied. He tries to make a conversation with her, not realizing that she is deaf. She gets scared and bites Yi Chun's hand when he tries to help her, which the PE teacher hears. So he manages to locate the room he is hiding in. Yi Chun then escapes from the supply room with Chung Ah. Realizing that Chung Ah is probably locked up in the room by bullies, Yi Chun hands her a leaflet with an advertisement for his band and his number, saying to contact him if she is in trouble. Meanwhile, Yun Gol waits for Yi Chun outside the school and runs into Sei Kung. He recognizes her as Viva Grandpa's daughter, and approaches her to ask about her father. Sei Kung gets shocked to hear about a real father, and assumes that Viva Grandpa sent Yun Gol to distract her. When Yi Chun sees Sei Kung and Yun Gol, he quickly approaches them. Assuming that they're together, Sei Kung lashes out at them and warns them not to come near her again. When Sei Kung gets home, Mei Young informs her that they are planning to move to America. Without hesitation, Sei Kung agrees to the decision. Despite Yi Chun's attempts to make Yun Gol stop following him, Yun Gol manages to follow him to the snail boarding house. Upon arriving, he sees Young Hee beating up Yi Chun for getting poor grades. As she scolds him for not bringing the promised tutor home, Yi Chun introduces Yun Gol as his tutor. After testing Yun Gol's math skills and being impressed by him, Young Hee decides to let him stay in the boarding house to teach Yi Chun math. Sei Kung gets summoned by Chung Ah's stepmother Im Ji Mi to discuss her migration to America. She asks her to keep it a secret from other students because she doesn't want them to be distracted. During the conversation, Ji Mi disapprovingly brings up Sei Kung's friendship with Chung Ah. Sei Kung finds Chung Ah waiting for her outside the director's room, curious about their conversation. So Sei Kung tells her about her plan to move to America. She offers Chung Ah a ticket to Ji Hwan's concert, knowing she likes bands. But on realizing that Yi Chun would be heartbroken if he learns about Sei Kung's departure after she left, Chung Ah decides to give the concert ticket to Yi Chun. It is revealed that the supply room is not the first place Chung Ah met Yi Chun, as he had saved her from a falling pile of books, and she has come to like him. Yi Chun makes a call and demands that Yun Gol bring him his track clothes. Yun Gol goes to his school with the clothes and sees the practice room of Yi Chun's disbanded band. He enters and starts playing the guitar, impressing Kung Hun Yeo, one of the former members of Yi Chun's band. Yi Chun and Ma Ju also hear the music and rush to find the talented guitarist, but when they arrive, Yun Gol is gone. While searching for the guitarist, Yi Chun runs into Yun Gol and starts following him around making sure he attends classes. When Yun Gol tries to prevent him from doing a part-time job, Yi Chun shares his plan to work hard and earn enough to buy back the restaurant Young Hee lost because of his father. He emphasizes that the purpose of forming the band is not just for Sei Kung, but also because he wants to live his life to the fullest, before giving up everything to start earning. Yi Chun finds the ticket that Chung Ah left for him at the ice cream store where he works. Believing it was Sei Kung who left the invitation, Yi Chun hurries to meet her. By the time he gets there the concert is already finished and sees Sei Kung is with Ji Hwan. On seeing Yi Chun Sei Kung lashes out at him for harassing her, despite Yi Chun's efforts to explain that she's the one who gave him the ticket. Yun Gol arrives to defend Yi Chun and persuades Ji Huan to let them perform on stage. Yi Chun is surprised to see Yun Gol playing the guitar, and together they deliver a performance on stage. After the performance, Yi Chun decides to take Yun Gol into the band. On their way home, Yi Chun nearly gets into an accident, but Yun Gol quickly saves him. Yun Gol recalls a scar on Yi Chun's back and his about him being in an accident. Yun Gol checks for the scar on Yi Chun and, realizing it's not there. He realized that the accident caused Yi Chun to lose his hearing, and with that the episode ends. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.